Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is a champion that will represent Jamaica for years to come. Remember this name, Roger Stoner, the first discuss gold medal in Jamaican history at a whopping 70 meters. It is not only the first gold medal for Jamaica in this event, but it is also the current Olympic record. He did it in fine style. And this was also done after the Jamaican independence celebration, which was on August 7, the day after Jamaica's independence. Congratulations, Roger, on a monumental throw and we are looking forward to see you in years to come thank you for inspiring the next generation of throwers in this event and also in other field events as well letting them know that it is possible for jamaica to throw and speaking of jamaica's possibilities i would like to highlight an interview that was done with Roger and the bronze and silver medalists. I want to highlight one of the questions that was asked to the second and the third place medalist about Jamaica and Roger Stoner. The question that was asked by the French journalist was, how much were you surprised by the performance of the gold medal tonight? And if a few years ago, what would have been your reaction if we told you a Jamaican would have won a gold medal at throwing? No, I don't want anyone to come in my comment section and say that I am looking too deep into this and I am inciting a rift. Listen to me. As Jamaicans, we need to learn how to have discussion and we need to pick up on inferences and read between the lines and when people say things. Now, when I listened to what the interviewer had asked, the French interviewer had asked the two medalists, in my opinion, he was inferring if he could be, if, if the medalists could believe that a Jamaican could win at throwing the discus. I find this very insulting because at the end of the day, the discus, the shot put, the hammer, the javelin, no throwing event is given to anyone or to any particular country. The best of the best compete and whosoever is the winner from that particular country, that country and that winner is awarded the gold medal. I understand that the europeans are the ones who normally they they win the, the the throwing events i understand that normally it would be some european or scandinavian country even sometimes i see the u.s win it once in a while however to ask such a question with such boldness and to say what would have been your reaction if they told you a jamaican would have won the gold medal at throwing he is implying that jamaica wouldn't normally win or jamaica isn't a country to look for as it relates to in this event and i find it so funny because we have always had a history of great throwers and this was a response that i believe it was the um either the bronze or the silver medalist he stated that it wasn't a surprise because jamaica has always had a history of great throwers in the different field events remember we had frederick J dakers and before roger stoner there was roger jack campbell who won the bronze medal maybe he was thinking oh jamaica is always known for the track so we're not looking for anything from jamaica but what i find so funny is that the world really doesn't understand who jamaicans are we are a set of people whatever we put our mind to we are going to prosper and i said this before and i will say it again if tomorrow jamaica decides on a serious note to implement a gymnastic program and to recruit children from a young age probably the age of three to train them in the gym in the in gymnastics seriously and put the same backing that they placed in track and field into gymnastics i can tell you that jamaica will be a medal contender at an olympic games maybe not the next olympics but an olympics to come in the future because one whatever jamaica jamaicans are determined to do we do it and we do it with excellence two 
remember you know jamaica has a culture where you have women not all women but a lot of women they are very athletic in dancing the in the dance culture people they split then go up on the top then wine and i believe that if they channel all of those acrobatic endeavors in a sport don't you think that we will be able to come home with a medal or come home with something i cannot believe that in 2024 a question like this is being asked because it had a condescending tone in my opinion and i don't want anybody to say oh i'm messy i'm looking into things i'm this and i'm that no i am going to link the video of the interview below and i need you to watch it watch it with a clear head watch it with a clear mind and make your own decision of it but it is so i'm not gonna say sad i am happy that questions like these are being asked because it just goes to show that ignorance is still rampant in today's society as i said before no medal is promised to any man so anybody from any country can win a medal in any event so even though jamaican is known for sprinting the 100 the 200 the four by one men and women even though that is our forte we have still had medals in other events even the um interviewer or the host rather that was sitting on the panel he said that this was jamaica's first medal in the field event and roger had to correct him as well as one of the medalists they said no this is not jamaica's first medal right they remind him of Virginia campbell and then they said oh these are our first field event medal and they said no because we have had previous field events medal so I am happy for Roger Stoner. I'm glad that he did this monumental um, record, 70 meters. That is a very far distance. I am glad that he brought home the first gold for Jamaica during this event because really and truly Paris has been an Olympics for the books. You know, we've had a lot of surprises, a lot of mishaps and a lot of disappointments, which I will make a video about that later next week. But I am happy to see that, you know, in spite of everything, he was able to come and to give us a medal and a gold medal with a record and to make Jamaica's proud. Please go and watch the, the video and make your own decision. Don't take my word for it. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. And thank you for coming by to this video. I will see you in the next one.